Hi, it's Maya here with my mid-year reading goals check-in. I will be mostly focusing on my reads and receipts project, but let's get the shorter projects out of the way first. I had set my Goodreads challenge to 70 books for this year, but at the end of June I had already read 72 books and comics. But if you remember, I also had the added goal of at least 40 of those 70 books to be in novels, because I read so many comics and novellas in 2018, I wanted to focus more on novels. Well, I'm not quite there yet. I have read 28 novels and full-length single author short story collections, which I'm also counting as full-length works. And then I have read 44 shorter works, so comics, graphic novels, novellas, stuff like that. So I need to focus more on reading full-length stuff for the end of the year to reach that goal. Then my A to Z TBR challenge, reading physical books starting with those letters. I have currently 15 letters of the alphabet collected and that is seven more since my last check-in last October. So those were E, East of the Sun and West of the Moon, edited by Noel Daniel, F, Finding Baba Yaga by Jane Yolen, G, Chance at the End of the World, edited by Johanna Sinisalo and Tony Yerman, J for The Just City by Joe Walton, L for Lady Susan by Jane Austen, T for Temper by Nikki Traden and W for Word Puppets by Mary Robinette Kowal. So I'm currently missing 11 letters. I have also fulfilled a whopping two of my TBR char challenges. I have read a hardcover, uh, The Just City by Joe Walton, and the shortest book on my TBR, which was Ashbourne by Kate Zellers. I am currently reading a book featured on the trial chapter video. I've also read two more Poro books in reading Agatha Christie's Poro series in order, and I am quite happy with that progress. So now we're moving on to the reads and receipts. And my current physical TBR number is 70 books. At the start of the year, it was 81. So it has gone down 11 books. But I have actually read 16 of my own physical books because I have also read stuff that I have bought this year. I have hauled 25 books and comics this year. That is both the physical and digital ones. I have a mid-year book buying stats video coming after this one. So I talk about more, more about those there. So now let's quickly go through the 16 physical books that I have read for this challenge. Finding Baba Yaga by Jane Yolen, 4 stars. Masks and Shadows by Stephanie Burgess, which I no longer own, 2.5 stars. East of the Sun and West of the Moon, Old Tales from the North, edited by Noel Daniel with illustrations by Kay Nielsen, 4 stars. The Forever War by Joe Haldeman, 1.5 stars, I no longer own this. Temper by Nikki Traden, 2 stars. Likewise, no longer own this. How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin, a short story collection, 4.5 stars. The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 6 by Nagabe, 3.5 stars. The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 8, Old is the New New by Kieran Gillen and Jamie McKelvey, 3 stars. The Day of the Triffids by John Windham, which I no longer own, 2.5 stars. The Just City by Joe Walton, likewise no longer own, 3 stars. Giants at the End of the World, a short story collection edited by Johanna Sinisalo and Tony Yerman, 3 stars. When I Arrived at the Castle by Emily Carroll, 4 stars. Hopeapu or Silver on the Tree by Susan Cooper, the second book in this bind up, 2 stars. The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie, 4 stars. Word Puppets by Mary Robinette Kowal, 3 stars. And Lady Susan by Jane Austen, which is at the end of this Persuasion hardcover. 3 stars. So on average that makes about 2.5 read physical books per month. I have also read owned ebooks and digital comics. Even though I don't count them to the total, I go through the ebooks in my reads and receipts videos to see if I can buy more ebooks. So I have read 11 ebooks and comics and those were The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, 3 stars. Murder in the Muse by Agatha Christie, 4 stars. The Changeling by Victor Laval, 3.5 stars. Delicious in Dungeon Volume 2 by Lyoko Kui, 3 stars. Roses and Rot by Cat Howard, 3 stars. Ashbone by Kate Zellers, 3 stars. Sword Heart by T. Kingfisher, 3.5 stars. How the Best Hunter in the Village Met Her Death by Molly Osterdag, 4 stars. The Goblins of Bell Water by Molly Ringel, 3 stars. Tokyo Tarareba Girls by Akiko Higashimura, Volumes 2 to 9, about 3, 3.5 stars. And The Wendigo by Algernon Blackwood got 3 stars. I have also finished one audiobook this year that was a reread of Blameless by Gail Carriger, which I gave 3 stars. I'm a bit disappointed by how slowly uh, my physical books are going down. I know that because of this project I have been reading more of my own books, um, but I've started to feel a bit bummed out whenever I receive a new book in the mail, which shouldn't happen, because it makes the total go back up. That's not how you should feel when you get a new book. So I'm also going to Worldcon in August and then I will allow myself to buy books there. So that's those are outside the limits of this challenge. 
and that means my TBR number is only gonna go up. So I've decided that I'm gonna raise my physical book buying limit. So I will need to read three physical books a month before I can buy one. I also decided to lower the limit of getting a library book out. My limit used to be reading two physical books and one ebook. I'm just gonna change it to one and one. So one physical book and one ebook, I can get take out a library book. Like if I'm being honest, I have been taking out at least one comic a month from the library, so it's sort of an outside the rules extra, so I might as just well change the rules. So to recap, here's my current situation. I want to read more full-length novels this year to get to at least 40. I need to read 11 physical books to finish my A to Z TBR challenge, and I'm currently in the middle of a TBR chart challenge for reading a book uh, that was featured in a trial chapter video that is Experimental Film by Gemma Files, and I should really try to use the char more. To complete more of those challenges. And then my current physical book count is 70 books and I would so love to get it under to under 50 this year. So I really need to step up my game for that. I think I'd need to read three and a half books per month to reach that and so far I've been reading two and a half, so I'd really need to up my game. If you remember at the start of the year I had the dream uh, my physical TPR number would be under 40 this year. I think that's not doable, but 50 might be. So wish me luck for the latter half of the year. That's all for me for now, and I'll see you in my next video.